What is happiness? What does happiness mean to you? To me, it means a few different things, but if I had to sum it up in just one word, I would say contentment. The truly rich man is the one who is content with what he has. The poor man is the one who desires more. The things you desire could very well have a new set of problems that go along with it. So for example, you might desire a girlfriend because you want to feel that kind of connection with someone, and you think of all the good things that could come out of it. But don't be thinking, oh, my life will be so much better if I get a girlfriend, because along with the good, a new set of problems will go along with it. And you'll miss some of the freedoms that you once had when you were single. Or maybe you desire a promotion because you'll have a more prestigious job title and more money. But along with that comes more stress and responsibility. And it's just like anything else in life. It all has pros and cons, and it's about weighing those pros and cons. But if you have desires and you're so hell-bent on them and end up not getting what you desire, you may feel depressed. So it's important to keep things in perspective. Realize that we may not always get what we want, but we should be appreciative of what we do have. And this is where I think negative visualization can be very helpful. Whenever you have a strong desire for something, practice negative visualization. So rather than desiring something that you don't have, try to imagine no longer having something you currently do have. For example, let's say you have a pretty old car and you desire a newer model. Instead of thinking, oh, I don't have that Porsche. I'd be so happy if I got that Porsche. Instead, you should think, what would my life be like if I didn't have my current car? After all, your current vehicle runs just fine. It gets you from point A to point B with no issues. Without it, your life wouldn't have a convenience that it currently has. Basically, be more appreciative of the things you currently have rather than desiring what you don't have. Concentrate on what you can do, not on what you can't. If you think about it, we have very few needs in life, but we may have countless wants. But people tend to take a lot for granted. Appreciate the good health you have, or the fact that you have your limbs, and if you want to go out for a walk, you can do that. Happiness isn't something outside of us, but it's something that we must find within ourselves. To me, happiness also means facing your fears. Fear is an emotion that's necessary to our survival. It's what helps us be alert to danger. But there are some fears that we have that are not only unnecessary, but can be detrimental. Let's say you have sinophobia. The rational part of your brain knows you shouldn't be afraid, but the instinctual part of your brain says, oh shit, there's an animal running up to me and I have no idea what it's going to do. I need to head for the hills. But the problem is that dogs are so ubiquitous and having a fear of them is very debilitating. Facing your fears is not an easy thing to do, but it is necessary if we want happiness in our lives. To know that we have the power within ourselves to face our fears, we tell our brains that we can do this and we get less and less afraid. According to Aristotle, eudaimonia is the main reason you do anything. It is the ultimate end that we seek. Why do we go to work? To make money, right? Why do we want to make money? So we can buy some of the necessities in life, like food and a place to live. And why do we want these things? So we can be happy. Basically, happiness is the stopping point. It's the reason why we do anything. Otherwise, why would we even start? I want to take my channel in a slightly new direction. I will still make videos like Misandry in the Media and LALAFC, but I want to make more videos about Stoicism and MGTOW and how I think they work very well together. Because I think that Stoicism is a great way for anybody to live, whether you're male or female. And I think MGTOW is great for men specifically. One part of finding happiness is about walking away from that which makes us unhappy, and that is what MGTOW is about. Both of these philosophies are very liberating. They are both about letting go and finding true happiness within ourselves. Stoicism and MGTOW really go together like peanut butter and jelly, and I look forward to making more videos about them.